For the past year, I have been very unsuccessful in transferring magazine images via the gel press to paper. And today I seem to have some success and I wanted to share with you what I did differently that I think contributed to me being successful in this image transfer. My name is Peg and I call my channel Two O Cosmos Media. I try to put together short, concise videos that are 10 to 15 minutes or less with not a lot of, of chatter. And if you appreciate that, take a moment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll know when I upload additional content. I upgraded the magazine, step number one. I stopped at the bookstore, purchased a high quality um, fashion magazine or the newest version of Vogue. And I think that did make a difference. Although I did also have some success pulling magazine images from just a catalog that I receive in the mail. The second thing I did was the amount of paint that I used on the gel press. <clears throat> I think in the past I have put too much paint down. So I put a small dab on and spread that very thinly with a very light touch of the brayer onto the gel press. I push the image down or the magazine page down firmly pressed it down with my hand and then went back over with a very firm press on the brayer to make sure that that magazine image had complete contact with the gel press. And once I pull that magazine image up, you can see that that image has transferred to the gel press. So now it's what do I use to get it from here? to the paper without destroying that process. So I chose a iridescent white paint. I thought that made a difference. The lightness of the paint that I used to pull the image after I allowed that transfer to dry a bit, I waited until it was dry enough that I could put this coat of paint on without moving the other paint. And this is what happened. And I was elated with this. I, this is the first time that I have actually had success in doing this. So I was thrilled. So once again, you know, very, very thin layer of paint is what I'm putting on my gel press. I'm firmly pressing the magazine page down and I'm using a higher quality magazine than I have in the past and hitting it with a firm roll of that brayer over the back, pulling that up slowly and allowing that image to transfer, allowing that image to dry enough that it will not shift when I put another coat of paint on the gel press. And using a light color so I can see that image through the color that I lay down. This is how I had success today. This doesn't mean it's the way that it has to be done or it doesn't mean that this is the way to do it. This is the way that I actually had success in completing this process. So I'm going to turn on some music and let you, you know, kind of work through this with me. I am also going to create some backgrounds so that I am pulling the image on lightly colored paper. So you will see me do that as well. And I'll meet you at the end.
if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope the wind could spread your love what if your sweetness could reach everyone there'd be no wars this has helped you and prevent you from making the same type of mistakes that I made for the past year. There's a couple of things that I wanted to point out to you or mistakes that I made in this video that I hope will help you as well. You notice a few blemishes on my finished images here. Those are from dried paint that was left on my gel press. Had I cleaned my gel press a little better, you wouldn't see those. And where you see my thumbprint or my fingerprint on the image, that is because I was impatient and testing the dryness of the paint before I put that second coat on. So, it, you know, make sure your gel press is good and clean and you won't have those blemishes like I do here. But please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you join me as we explore other things. That notification bell, of course, lets you know when I upload additional content. I appreciate those of you that have subscribed. About 25% of my watch time is from people that have subscribed to my channel. So I want to thank you very much for following me and supporting me. That thumbs up does help my channel and I do appreciate those and I do appreciate your comments. Thanks so much and bye for now.